Welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I'm Tony Guerra, the pharmacist and author of the Memorizing Pharmacology book series, bringing you mnemonics, cases, and advice for succeeding in pharmacology. Sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Let's get started with the show. I'm just going to go through a couple of the lab values and how to remember them in this quick mnemonic. So the first thing is that we're going to go over this L that's in the periodic table. I took out beryllium. So hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. And then these guys are plus one and this is plus two. That becomes really important later. But knowing that these guys are all in the same column, hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, that will do you well. All right. So you probably never looked at it this way. but Hydrogen is the, well, it's the negative log of the hydronium concentration. That's what you actually get with the pH, but basically it's how acidic or basic it is. Your body is a little bit higher than 7, which is neutral, so 7.35 to 7.45 for the pH. But if you look down at sodium, if you make that 7 into a 1, kind of straighten it up, it turns into a 135 to 145, just like you got 7.35 to 7.45. And then you can take that 35 from sodium and make the 3.5 from potassium, 2.5 or 2.5 milliequivalents per liter. So just a quick way to kind of put the hydrogen, the sodium, and the potassium together. But when we think about these lab values, uh, really it just comes down to some of the things I've heard and mnemonics I've, I've come across. So again, hydrogen 7.5 to 7.45 looks a lot like the 135 to 145 milliequivalents per liter in sodium. Uh, I've also seen that you underline the OD in sodium to make odd numbers. So the first three odd numbers are 1, 3, and 5, and you just add 10. Potassium 3.5 to 5. I've heard 3 to 5 bananas in a bunch, and they're half off. So the 3.5 to 5. Uh, lithium and serum creatinine you probably never put together before, but 0 0.6 to 1.2 milliequivalents per liter would be uh, lithium. And uh, if you want, you can take that it its atomic number is 3, multiply by 2 to get the 6 and 0 0.6, and multiply that 0 0.6 again to get 1.2. Uh, serum creatinine, though, is 0 0.6 to 1.2 milligrams per deciliter. Uh, magnesium. Uh, you could have taken the the one you know the one three from sodium, but one point three to two point one, uh, and then calcium and chloride you probably never put together, but the nine point zero to ten point five very similar to the ninety five to one oh five. Though I've seen ninety six to one oh six for chloride as well, um, but nine one one that's the calcium uh, mnemonic, so nine to ten point five if you round up. And then I've heard 95 to 105 is a hot tub temperature, but be careful. The maximum is actually 104. Uh, so calcium creatinine, we talked about how that's next to lithium or similar to lithium at 0.6 to 1.2. Uh, the BUN, though, if you put it right under, it retains that 6, gets rid of the decimal, and you double the 12 to get 24. So generally, I see 6 to 24 milligrams per deciliter, but I've also seen the mnemonic where you've you got bunions on your five toes and you got 20 digits total with your hands and your feet. So five to 20 uh, milligrams per deciliter for BUN. I've seen them both. Uh, creatinine clearance. So the sevens and the eights. Uh, so creatinine clearance, uh, 97 to 137 milliliters per minute is the sevens. 40 is the difference. And for women, creatinine clearance, 88 to 128 uh, milliliters per minute. These are the eights. They end in eight. Uh, 40 is the difference again. So again, a quick review of some of the lab values that you really do need to know. I just thought those mnemonics were really cool. As always, information is for informational purposes. If you've got a medical condition, consult a medical professional. Thanks for listening to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. You can find episodes, cheat sheets, and more at memorizingpharm.com. Again, you can sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Thanks again for listening.